Hello, I'm Georgie Barrett, and this week we're filming from BET, the world's largest ed tech show, bringing you your week in tech. <laughs> University College London's newly launched technology fund has scored £50 million in funding from the Imperial Innovations Group and the European Investment Fund. The fund will support new ideas from academics working in the life and physical sciences fields over the next five years. Chinese technology and investment group Cocoon Networks will be launching a £500 million London-based venture capital fund. The large sum will be used to invest in UK and European tech startups later this year. And in the smart cities arena, London is joining a 25 million euro project by partnering with European cities to trial the use of technology, which can enhance the lives of residents. Microsoft has a pledge to contribute one billion organizations working for the public good such as non-profits and at universities. The company has promised access to service and services that normally businesses would need to pay considerable fees for. Microsoft has also promised to improve last mile connectivity, bringing broadband connectivity at a low cost to more communities around the world. Our download of the week is seen and heard and Rebecca is here to tell us a little bit more. Rebecca, what's this app about? So Sina has been designed for children with autism who need their environment to help them communicate. So you can, the teacher can take a photo of the classroom or the parent at home and then it hotspots on the picture about what they might want to communicate about. Some might be a toy that they're playing with or something that they want to eat. So they can use the app to be their means of communication. And finally, fed up of drone stories and the fear of these flying robots endangering flight paths? Well, the drone catcher is here to save us. Scientists from Michigan Technological University have shown up a device that releases a web-like net that they hope will be used to capture rogue drones. This has been your week in tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.